limiting beliefs. <laughs> Do, you? Do you have one that we can work with right now? Just one. Everybody have one limiting belief that you want to work with right now. A limiting belief is just something that is, is stopping you from doing something. Okay? Everybody got one? Okay. So, with this, here's what I'd like you to do. You can have your eyes open or closed. I don't really care. Closed, you block out visual input. It's much easier. But however you want to do it, I'd love for you to imagine that right in front of you is a whiteboard. An absolutely pristine, clear whiteboard. It's perfect. Now, take a marker and write on that whiteboard your limiting belief. Just write it up there. But there's an eraser there and a cloth to clean it. Erase that, back and forth, side to side, up and down. Erase it, just erase it. Get rid of it. Take that cloth and clean it all the way into the corner so that it's white and pristine and sparkling again. Now, on that whiteboard, write a better feeling thought. A thought that would work better for you. Write that on your whiteboard. A belief that you would rather have. You might notice that there are some colored markers there. Pick up those markers and colorize your letters. Make them bold and bright up there. Colorize each of those letters. Make them beautiful. If you don't mind, add an uplifting soundtrack. <laughs> Something that you really like, an uplifting soundtrack. And notice those letters just start to dance on that board. They're just dancing and popping around and moving and dancing to that soundtrack that you created. Let those letters dance right off of that board and into your head. Let them dance right into the top of your head. And there they are inside your head, swirling around and swirling around and swirling around. And I just am curious, how many times would those that new feeling thought have to swirl around there in your head for it to become real for you? However many times that is, do it now. Hypnotic time is very quick. Do it now. And then send those dancing letters all the way down your body through every cell, every organ of your body. And when you've done that, imagine a billboard up and to your right. Take that colorized, better feeling thought and put it up there on that billboard. Big and bright and real for you. If you don't mind, right there on the left side, put a picture up there that shows you having success with this. Put a picture up there that reminds you that you are successful. Now, you can take that picture, you can take that better feeling thought, whatever it is, and incorporate it into your mind. And anytime you need to remind it, all you have to do is think up to your right. And there it is for you to access again. Bring that all the way back with you, inside of you. Take it in and make it real for you. And then come back and join me. So if you let me count up. So one to five, I'll count from one to five, count five, you'll be wide awake, eyes open, feel great. One. Feeling your fingers in your toes. Two, feeling this chair pushing up in your back. Three, moving, ready to go. Four, stretching your arms and legs. And five, eyes open. Wide open. Tell me about that, Lainey. I didn't need to close my eyes. That was really easy for me to do. And I loved erasing my living thoughts and playing them all. My billboard is, I mean, I have a cross on my chest. <laughs> She's got it across her chest. Look how, how bold she is with that better feeling thought. How cool was that? Right? And yes, that works in a very interesting way. One of the things that happens is when we're erasing that left to right, left to right, left to right, up and down, up and down, up and down. Are we doing the EMDR here? Mm -hmm. <coughs> right? And you're doing that right. So as we're erasing that, we're adding the back and forth, back and forth, up and down. So they're getting a little EMDR action with their eyes. Because as you're imagining, as one is imagining, no, as I am imagining, doing this in my mind, my eyes and my head and my body is kind of going along with it. Whether it's doing it in real life or not, it is inside my, my mind. You put that up into your right, and according to NLP techniques, up into the right is a place of creation. So you're creating something great for yourself. You're adding in words, you're adding in code, you've got a soundtrack to go with it. So we've really tapped into sort of all of the senses. 
That's a pretty cool technique, isn't it? It works in a group, it works on one-to-one -one in a client. In my office, it's not unusual to do about 60 techniques in the time that we're together. Because I'm not just doing one, I'm doing what presents, and then what presents next, and then what presents next, and then what presents next.